guys. So I don't know where to look, so I'm going to look right there. This is uh, the new thing right now. We got a whole new setup. We got a light. We got a microphone. We got a laptop, and we got uh, we got everything. So this is like a professional TV studio setup now here at the, the Billion Queen Network, BMN. <laughs> so um, I got a special thing for you today. I'm not going to do that thing. It's kind of a pet peeve of mine. When people on YouTube are like, I got something special for you guys. I'm not going to say what it is. I'm opening it up. But it says in the title of the video what it is. Like, we're not in suspense. So you already know I have watermelon Oreos. That's what I'm going to title the video. But, um, yeah, so a friend of mine made a Facebook status about these the other day. And I kind of decided I wanted to... Um, But I've already said that that's what they are. You know what I mean? That'd be, that'd be funny. That'd be funny if I never said. But I guess like I don't know. How, well, if you said it was like apple Oreos, and then I that, could do that. Yeah. That very well might be the title. So it may say apple Oreos about this video. I don't know. So I bought these on Amazon on a whim. They were like I think 15 bucks, which I guess is a lot for Oreos. I don't know. But they're limited edition, as you can see here. It's got that 10 2014 sticker on it. It's a, so that's August. I don't know. Is that the expiration date or what? Any thoughts, anybody? What do you guys think that means? It's the expiration date. It's the expiration date. Okay. Oh, wait, that would that would have already passed, though. No, it wouldn't. Ten is uh, August. Oh yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so let's so well, let's look at this. So it's kind of blocked. Day. It's kind of blocked here by the sticker, but you can kind of see what's going on. It's got that the white. It's the white Oreo. Oh, it's like the I thought Oreo. I thought it was like ten twenty fourteen, like ten slash twenty slash fourteen. If it's ten twenty fourteen, ten twenty fourteen would, like be, number, would still be would still be would still be in August. Because there's no 20 months. So it might just August. be the 10th day. <laughs> okay. So this should really be like 290. 20, all right. Anyway, um, so I guess, oh, on the back, so it has some other limited edition flavors. But I also got the lemon Oreos and berry Oreos. And berry has the chocolate coating, which is interesting. So if these are really good, we might review those too. I don't want to spend 15 bucks on Oreos if they're not going to be good. Yeah, and those are pretty standard Oreos. I don't, I don't know how much more I need to talk about them. Let's just dive in and give these a try. So I'm opening them up. It's got that, get one. that flap. You know yeah, you can have one. Oh, you want me to? Yeah. Oh, they smell nice. Well, they just smell like the vanilla Oreos. It's not. It's good, though. All right, I'll toss you one. You want one? Of course. All right. So... You can tell a lot about a man with the way he eats his Oreos. What I've done for years is I would take two and I'd, and I'd, I'd skim uh -oh. one, I'd, I'd shell it, and I'd eat the cookies, and then I'd combine and make a double Oreo with those two. And the, the, at bare minimum, double. Sometimes I'd go triple. I'd one off tuple one time. It was crazy. But more recently, I've discovered the pleasure of just biting into it like a normal cookie, and I actually find that I kind of like it better that way. So anyway, without further ado, I will bite into this, this creation. Hmm. Wow. I like this a lot. These are really good. Am I, is this just me or do you guys agree? I like this. I haven't had it yet. Oh. <laughs> you guys are waiting for me. That's very nice of you. I've spoiled you now. You won't have a pure experience. Negative expectations. <laughs> what? No? Why? What's wrong with it? I mean, it's like come artificial, on. It's, an, it's artificial in a way that I like. Oh my god. But no, it's it's like, what did you expect? Did you expect to taste like a piece of watermelon? Did you expect like literally a piece no. of watermelon? Oh my god, guys. I thought I picked just from the safe space where I could tell my honest <laughs> opinion. Right? I mean, the Billy McQueen channel is a safe space, but as long as the opinion makes sense and is reasonable. It makes sense. It's part of two, two like Jolly Ranchery. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. very Jolly yeah. Ranchery, yeah. It's very novel. It's so novel. I'm seeing, I'm looking at the ingredients now to see. There are no, there appear to be no actual watermelons <laughs> in watermelon Oreos, unfortunately. But that's fine. I mean, for me, they do taste a lot like, like Jolly Ranchers. If you've had like a watermelon flavor, if you've had like Hubba Bubba or Jolly Ranchers or any other like watermelon flavored candy, it's that exact same flavor. That exact same flavor. But it, it just, for me, it just goes really well with the vanilla cookie. 
I don't know. It's, it's, like, it's, very, it's like refreshing to eat. Like Oreos for me, like the chocolate normal Oreos, they kind of feel like gross. They get all in your teeth. I mean, these get in your teeth too. I mean, it's the same stuff, but they feel like, not gross, but after you've eaten them, your mouth feels like dirtier for yeah, having eaten for them. Sure. These, I don't get that same sense. I it's get like, the same sense. <laughs> I don't know. It's very, it's so, they're like refreshing though. I really like these. Wow. I think I'm going to go, I'm going to go, see, here's the thing. I, I, I want to do like four out of five, right? That's my natural response. Because five out of five, like how could these be five out of five, right? But at the same time, no Oreos would ever be five out of five. There's nothing these could be that would be five out of five. So for what they are, they're like, what? What, what before the week that this will rock you, he never has, he would never ever eat anything. And I can't be touched. What is five out of five? I admire that philosophy, but I disagree. I would give things 10 out of 10 if I felt they truly deserved it. So I'm going to give kind of a weird by Furcated Ray this week. 4 to 10, just objectively, just like as a taste experience, these are 4 out of 10. As Oreos, they're perfect. They're a 5 out of 5. These are as good as Oreos get, in my opinion. I love these. I'm not going to spend $15 on them again, I don't think. But if I find them at a store, you can bet your bottom dollar I will be spending my bottom dollar on it. Oh, well, you've never heard that? Your top dollar. You bet your bottom dollar. You've never heard that expression? The expression is, you can bet your top dollar. You can bet your bottom dollar. Yeah. Thank you. Bottom dollar, that's All right, that's the end of the